Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Today we're talking about the economic freedom fighters. Um, some people say that they did some problematic things, so let's talk about it. So some people took this as kill the boar, kill the white, kill the farmer, which means kill the white farmers. So some people took this and they just really put it up. And in fact, I'll show you the tweet. Um, South Africa's second largest group, economic fighters, called for a genocide against white South Africans. Kill the boar, kill the farmer. So and then some other people were like, this is going to be America in a few years and blah, blah, blah. Uh, guys, listen. Please do your due diligence before you go making big statements. I don't know what it is. It's even the big people on Twitter who just immediately see a video and they go, oh, this is exactly what it was. And they don't read into it at all. Like, I just wish that people just do a little bit instead of always trying to stir the pot. And that's what I'm starting to learn more as I look into some of these people. Um, not necessarily conservatives, but because they're good, great conservatives. And there's some liberals, you know. But at the same time, we still got to start using a little bit more common sense instead of just watching a video and reacting and having no idea what it's about or looking into it. I just think it just kind of kills everything. So I obviously did the reading and uh, let's talk about it. So I, I read the whole thing, but we're going to read the ending um, and I'll talk about it a little bit more. So here it is. <clears throat> the EF relied on Malama as a witness in the University of, I'm not going to say that, Professor Lizard Gunner as an expert witness who holds a PhD in African languages, literature, in the title of her thesis and her PhD. And like I said, I can say that praising, uh, praising and praises. She also published an article that said song identity in the state. Gunner told the court about the song was not a decoration, not a decoration. It still carries huge weight as a historical statement. It shows songs how songs can move through time and cause inspiration through memory and uh, to a later generation. She said, "It is a, it is true." She contended that a political idea can be enacted through a song. In other words, according to her, listeners can enact a political idea and deduce messages through a song. The judge wrote. Gunner also advanced that struggle songs were a form of speech and believe that the song in the list lyrics should be left to the contest in the political area. Malima testifying as lay witnesses did not dispute singing the song Kill the Boar when the uh, he was in the NACYL president, but he said he sang Kiss, Kiss the Boar when he was the EFF leader. <clears throat> so I want to give a little backstory before we read the rest of this. So this did go to court, right? They did talk about this song and they wanted to say that, Hey, this is the reason and this happened because there was a farmer who came along and in 2008, there was some um, issues that the person, these three black men came to the farm and did some devious stuff. Right. And so the farmer was arguing that this song in, enabled these three black men to go out here and do this stuff to the farmers. So he's pretty much saying that this song will have people go out there and actually do the things that you're talking about in this music. Well, the judge ended up saying, no, that's not the truth, because that happened in 2008, which was five years before the EFF was even a group. So there's no way that you can say that this this song in particular also did something to people five years prior to it ever coming out in this group even talking about these things right and so it did go to court and um the judge said that this song was not malicious in any way so pretty much saying that this song was not would not lead is not a purpose of leading to or going to lead to people doing this stuff it is meant to be kept in the political arena that's for that's not verbatim you can go read it yourself if you want to all right let's finish this out he referred to Kiss the uh, Bora as a chant, saying it meant to agitate and mobilize. They are used to make sure the youth are interested in the struggle. And that, and then that is why there will be sounds like that. But to show that there is nothing literal, even the shooting of a gun is not a real gun. So if it was meant in the literal sense, we would have taken guns and shot them in the air. This, that is why we are doing it with the hands, which is what you saw at the end. The guy going... Brrr. The EFF also relied on the former president... 
uh, testimony about the song in TRC that it ought to not be interpreted literally, but in the context of struggle in African culture. Furthermore, the court held that uh, the 2020 Nobel case between Malama and a free reform was not binding as the constitutional court. And you see the rest of it. Okay. So pretty much what they were getting at is that they were not trying to say literally go, go kill the moral. They were not literally saying go kill the farmer. Their argument was we are trying to keep this in the political sense. And I have to be able to agree with that because especially the people who say that that happens in America, there is so many, and let's just say it, there's so many hip hop songs that talk about killing. There's so many hip hop songs telling you go have sex with everybody and all this kind of stuff. But we're, we're supposed to not take that literally. Don't literally go out there and shoot up the ops. Don't literally go out there and go kill people. Right. We're supposed to be told not to take hip hop um, lyrics. Seriously. Jay Z with his famous, it's only entertainment. Right. So, if we got to take the whole thing from what Jay-Z said and take it everything that all these rappers say and say it's just a song, that is exactly the same thing we're doing with this. It's saying kill the boar or kill that farmer. It's not literally saying that. It's talking about a historical thing. It's being a historical statement talking about we need to get better. We need to be uh, making progress. We need to be doing this stuff for our, our people. It's not literally saying go out there and kill them. It is talking about politically. Let's get over all this stuff obviously i don't know the deep 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 history about all this stuff that would take a while to get into but i say that what people are saying about this and make it into a black versus white thing as they always do i disagree this song is not meant to be literally go kill white people this is not saying that it is talking about it in a more historical sense which nobody even cared to even try to look into or at least get a little bit of knowledge this is just immediately see this and so the, some of these conservatives out here that say that they want to bring us together and quit the divide they find anything and everything to say that oh look look at how black people want to kill whites look at how this want to do that look at how the left says this the left says that i feel like some conservatives they just completely overlook every single thing ever and want to make sure that we understand that the democrats are bad um white people they say white people are bad let's kill white people it's perfectly fine but if we were to say kill black people it would be a problem listen listen we need to start finding more common ground than we, we had before. And I understand. And you know, guys, I'm very strong on my uh, opinions. And I will state what I believe. I don't hold back. But at the same time, I do try to use my mind just a tad. And I'm not trying to cause more division. I want more people to get help. And that's why I try to look into everything before I talk about it. Can't do that with everything because some things pop up immediately. And sometimes you got to get on top of it while you can, you know, especially as a smaller person. None of you guys know who I am. So sometimes I got to get these stories out faster than the bigger people because they have bigger platforms because they've been doing it longer than me. Um, so y'all let me know what y'all think. Obviously, I don't think the song literally meant to go kill white people, kill them all, because if that was if that was the case, there would have been an all out war already. Let's just be honest. There would have been an all out war to kill white people and then uh, in South Africa and all that stuff. OK. If it gets to that and I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, okay? But from what I can see, what they did in this whole court case, which I said, once again, you guys can go read. I'll give you that again. Um, if you just type it in, guys, just type in this right here, uproar over the EFF, kill the boar. This is what the court said about the song. So you can just write that in and it should pop up for you guys, okay? But you let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Goodbye.